I have lived in Miami for almost two years now and I've learned a lot of things along this way. When I first moved here, I made a video titled My Experience Moving to Miami. You know, the struggles I was going through at the time. You don't know if you're new to the channel. I come from a pretty small town. I lived in Mississippi as a kid growing up and you know, moving to Miami was a pretty big change for me. There was a lot of things that I just didn't know about, you know, moving out and growing up and living on my own. It has been a minute since I've made that video. And with that, you know, I've learned a lot more things, you know, especially about myself. Today, I want to talk about my experience moving to Miami, but two years later. As you guys can see, I'm in this pretty nice apartment. You know, I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm only 22 years old. And for my age, I've come a long way. You know, a lot of people my age aren't really doing much. A lot of guys are just still in school right now or you know, living with their parents or don't even really have a plan figured out. And I think I really came to a conclusion into who I am as a person and the person that I want to be. So let's get into the video. So there's one more thing that I want to mention from my past video because it is still relevant till today. And that's the loudness of the city. I know it's kind of stupid. You're probably like, what the fuck, Ty? Like, it's just... Who cares about the, like, the, the loudness of the city? But guys, it really is, it's not an issue, but it really is like a big thing in the city. Like there's constantly noise. Like there's never a time where you're gonna be able to just go outside and just be chill. Like even if I like go to the beach, there's so many people at the beach. There's people playing music, people dancing, people trying to sell you things. There's, people will never leave you alone. It's never gonna be a time to yourself, which is one of the biggest things I'd learned. As I mentioned before, I come from a pretty small town. If you wanna be alone, it's pretty easy for you to be alone. Like, you don't have to talk to anybody. You can kind of go out of the way. You go to the woods if you really want to. Now, I used to have this one rooftop that I used to go to that I really liked because nobody else used to go there. And well, I kind of got banned from it because nobody was supposed to be up there. So it's probably a reason why nobody was up there. For me, I really like my personal space. You know, I'm good with being alone, as you can see. I'm in this apartment, I'm chilling. Like, I don't have to have anybody here. You know, of course, I do have a roommate, you guys don't know. But he's my best friend, you know? He's not a stranger, he's not like some random guy. He's literally my best friend since the third grade. It really was a struggle from being, you know, very isolated to being thrown into a major city where there's millions of people all clustered into one spot. You know, you never really have time to be alone. But I digress, other than that, you know, my experience here has been at first hard, we're gonna get into that, but overall has been amazing. You know, this city is a very beautiful city. I've met so many interesting people. All those scum and stereotypes that you see from movies like the fuck boy, girl that's like into astrology, that party girl, the guy that doesn't grow up, all of those things I've met here. Where I'm from, that's like, everybody's pretty much the same. Like everybody's just either trying to get a family or like in college. It's not really any variations from that. So moving here and seeing so many different cultures and ethnicities and so many different types of people was such a like awakening for me because you know, I'm a very different type of person. Like, obviously, I'm making a YouTube video for God's sake. Like, most people don't do YouTube. Like, most people are interested in watching YouTube and maybe wants to make a video or two, but people aren't really interested in like making YouTube videos. Like, I sit down for 10 to 15 hours to edit. So, like, I'm already out of the norm of people. So, like, moving here and meeting different types of people that's like not just one thing that are monolith was a very good thing for me because you know it really made me open up to who I am at first I really didn't know what life was about I thought life was just you know I don't even know hard I don't even know hard maybe I really don't even have a idea what I thought life was about but I know I did know you know I still truly don't know like nobody really would ever know what life's truly about because it's all subjective like life could be about family or making money or Whatever you want it to be, it's all subjective. For me, life is about making experiences with new people that you love and you can grow from. That involves all types of people. You know, you can be broke as hell, have nothing, but as long as you have people around you that you love and you can share experiences with, I think that's okay. Same with people that's rich, you know, you can do the same thing. So speaking on wealth, moving here has really put my, my feet to the flame because literally everybody and their mom seems to be rich here. I don't know what the fuck is in the water, I don't know how people are getting this money. Like literally people are coming up with chauffeurs. Like literally, I know this lady, She's she plays tennis all the damn day. I don't even know what she does for a living, but her daughter's like about to be a neuroscientist or something, get an MBA or something. I don't even fucking know what they're doing, but she comes in every day because I, I work, this is gonna sound like so bad for me, but I work, I work under where she lives because there's like a five star apartment, whatever the fuck above where I work and then like she comes downstairs to get a coffee or whatever but every time she comes in she's always wearing a tennis fit or some luxury type of clothing that I've never seen before that looks like some God woven it by his own hands and sweat and tears it looks beautiful I don't even know where she get those clothes from but she always comes in and when she leaves she always has this dude bring her car to her like a chauffeur or whatever and she's she drives a G-Wagon it's ridiculous I'm just like 
who are these people? I see people driving Lambos at 16 years old. I see people on yachts. I just see the most wealth you could ever see all at once every single day. Now I know that's not normal. Like if I go outside of Miami, even if I just like go to the next city, like Orlando, I know it's gonna be drastically different. I understand that. But being here consistently for two years really fucked my mind up to what life is like. Like, I don't think people understand. Like when you move to Miami, it is, like a movie every single day even for like my life like i'm a very boring person i don't like to party i don't like to drink and smoke and stuff i like to just relax chill listen to music but even for me that I don't really do much life is life is but a dream it's actually kind of crazy how different life is like here like when i think back to my hometown my small little life you know life seemed normal if that's the word I can use. Like life, life was, you see kids, you see old people, you see like, re, like normal adults. Here, I barely see any kids. Like if I see a kid anytime like, or a bus, like, you know, I've seen a bus maybe two times. Like a school bus, two times in my almost two years being here. So th that should put it in perspective. But anytime I see a kid, I go like, wow, like what the fuck, that's a, that's a child. They're under, wait, wait, wait a minute. That sounds weird. <laughs> not like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, is it, like it's a kid, what the fuck, you know? That's not normal, you know? I shouldn't like look at a, a, just a kid or an old person, but oh my God, like that's a, they're there, that's, they're real. Like that is not normal. And on the other hand, wealth, you know, seeing like, people in Lambos, G-Wagons, Ferraris, all day, every day, just regular people come in in like $10,000 suits, it's, it's not, it's not okay for the brain. And then seeing the most beautiful women you'll probably ever see in your life. Perfect face, perfect hair, perfect bodies. So regular lives here in Miami. Yo, I was supposed to go to the yacht party, but instead I think I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, a, a yacht? Like, what do you mean? Like a yacht, like a yacht yacht? Yeah, like a big yacht. Like, you know, a big boat, you know? Like, not, not a little yachty, but you know, a big boat. And for like Miamians that's like always lived here, to them, they just see that is normal, which is like so weird to me because I'm coming from such a small place, like a whole different perspective. When I talk about my life and the way I grew up, people are like, what, huh? People are like so confused and perplexed. I remember this one time I was telling a story about how, you know, I used to ride horses as a kid because, you know, I, there was horses there. And they were like, you rode a horse? A real horse? And I was like, yeah, a real a horse, yeah. Now, of course, Miami has changed me mindset wise. And I've mentioned this in other videos, but before I moved here, I was so against like partying, drugs, alcohol, that type of thing. I was just so against it. Like, no, you need to focus on your mission, be disciplined, don't let it all out. And I still feel that way to an extent. But you know, I've more gotten accustomed to like, people like wanna have fun, then have fun. We only have one life to live. As you go back to my older videos, I used to talk a lot about discipline and staying focused and having a good mindset, you know? And I still believe that, but I do believe that you can have fun at some points. Like you don't have to have 100% stay on your fucking mission or you will be a loser for life. I don't believe that. Like you can take a day off, bro. It's okay. You know, take a fucking day off. I get it. You're working on let me get it. You're working hard, bro. Calm down. You can take a break. Take a break. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. See? Lean back. There you go. There you go. There you go. See there? Don't that feel better? Don't you feel a lot better about yourself? If you're new to the channel, brace yourself because, you know, this is going to be some tough shit. So when I first moved here, um, it wasn't so easy. You know, I think I even mentioned that in my, my video back then. You know, when I moved here, I was 20 years old. And, you know, being 20, not really knowing much, coming from a small town, I was pretty fucking stupid. Let's just, let's just call it bird a bird. And I didn't really understand what I was in for. So when I first moved out here, I, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> I just say it, I guess I went homeless, you know? Uh, yeah, I literally had to live in my car for, it wasn't too long, but it was two months. And in those two months were probably the worst times for me. Definitely. That shit was tough. Like bro, it was very embarrassing waking up in the car, having people look at you with like side eyes. That wasn't okay, especially mentally. And in those times, I was very dark. I even made a video of me like having a mental breakdown that I reacted to, which you can go watch it on the channel. Sorry, quick little plug. Stuff like that happens when you come to your breaking point, like are close to it. And I was very close to my breaking point. That was times where I really just didn't like the idea of living. Now, if you're smart, put two and two together. I had to face a lot of hard truths about myself for the longest time. I really denied, you know, who I was, meaning I always thought I was special or I was just gifted in some way for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, going homeless and realizing that nobody really gave a fuck about me made me put in like perspective. No, Ty, you're not special. You know, you're just a normal person, normal guy, doing normal things. 
you have a dream just like everybody else like, you know people some people want to be singers some people want to be actors i want to be a youtuber whoop the fucking do you're nobody special and it was hard you know i really fought it for a long time i blamed god i blamed society i blamed the infrastructure i blamed being a man i blamed so much instead of myself like no tie you put yourself here i'm not gonna lie if you clicked on this video this is completely different than what you probably thought it was about you probably thought you probably thought i was getting here guys miami's great the girls partying i love drugs no we're getting into the real shit what i really went through that's what this channel is about if you don't know if you're not subscribed this channel was not just your stereotypical we're talking about nothing just whoop the fuck no we, we talk about real issues real things real emotions real life if you're into that I really feel like you subscribe, you know, I'm just saying, you know, we're almost getting to 10k If you want to help to that goal, be one of the first, you know what you must do You know, it's been a hell of a two years, you know, hopefully the next two years will be better than the last Who knows, who knows, I could go back to, no, that would never happen Life is unexpected, I don't know what's gonna happen, that's the scary part but hey, I just keep moving forward and I just do what I do what I think is best for me in the moment. And that's what I live by. I try not to worry about the future or the past or what's going to happen. I just think about what can I do today to make my life better. And I do that consistently. And it got me here. So I think it's working out pretty good. People tell me that I inspire them and I, you know, they wish they can do the things I do. Even my mom, she said I inspired her. And which is crazy because she's my mom and I look up to her. So for her to be inspired. I want to say happy me to a successful two years, well, almost two years here in Miami. Hopefully we can keep it going. Hopefully it's going to flourish. I don't, you know, I have a lot of goals, have a lot of dreams and, you know, seeing them come, come to fruition slowly, but surely is very, it's very heartwarming. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Everybody that's been watching and everybody that's new, thank you for being here. I'm glad I can come to the camera now and know that I'm, I'm going to talk to at least some people. When I first started this channel, I just felt like I was talking to myself. But now I feel like I'm talking to not just subscribers, but I feel like I'm talking to friends. So thank you for being here. You guys really mean the world to me. And if you don't have dreams of being you know, rich and successful, which is cool, I hope I can be a sense of warmth for you or friendship or whatever you need i hope i could be that for you with that being said though guys um see you guys in the next video love you guys so much and we're on the road to 10k so subscribe peace bye can i